So slow motion is one of the coolest and most creative ways to level up your videos, but it can be challenging to actually have it look right and be smooth and stylish. So in this video, I'm gonna share some of my biggest slow motion tips, plus how we edit slow motion, coming up. Hey, what's up guys? Sean here with Think Media, bringing you the best tips and tools for building your influence with online video. And on this channel, we do a lot of gear reviews plus how-to videos just like this one. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. And hey, at any point during the video, check out a summary of all the show notes in the YouTube description below. I'll share the different software, the different gear, and a kind of step-by-step -step tips summarized. So check those out at any time. Let's jump into the video. So over the last few months, we've been experimenting with a lot of different slow motion footage with a lot of different cameras, whether that's the GH5, whether that's a Sony, action cameras, drones. And I wanted to put a video together based on just questions we've been getting about how to shoot slow motion, how to edit it, and how to have it turn out looking awesome and looking really cool. So let's jump in to the tips. So tip number one is the content itself. In order to have cool looking slow motion, you actually need some cool motion. Like you need actual motion for it to look great. And so for us, that's why whether we were shooting some running footage or whether even recently on a July 4th shoot, we were uh, shooting some like smoke grenades and some different things. The reason that these things can look cool in slow motion is because there is a lot of motion, there's a lot of action. And so as you're kind of thinking about slow motion, maybe storyboard out a few different ideas as to how you would actually use it. You know, this is a lot of people like using slow motion for music videos because it has a real dramatic effect, a real kind of cool effect. I mean, if you're just walking in full speed, getting out of your car with sunglasses on, doesn't look that cool, but flips the switch to slow motion and all of a sudden it's like a cinematic movie, right? So slow motion kind of carries that effect. I think the other cool thing about slow motion is it's kind of a stabilization hack. So a lot of handheld footage at full speed is kind of shaky, you know, doesn't look the best, but as soon as you flip the switch onto slow motion, now it looks dramatic and it looks very stable um, because it was shot in slow motion and then slowed down. And I think the other place that slow motion can be really cool is for live events. So if you ever shoot anything in a conference setting, a church setting, you know, anything at all, where there's live events, where there's crowds, where there's maybe music, different things. Slow motion is a huge tool to have in your arsenal for making videos dramatic, creative, and cool. Tip number two for slow motion is the camera itself. Now, you can certainly shoot slow motion on some smartphones these days. It's kind of limited. Uh, you know, I think the iPhone model, it kind of, you know, starts full speed, it slows down, and then it stops. And that's really neat. But if you want to, you know, shoot continuous slow motion or like do a whole project in slow motion, you need to be thinking about the actual camera. And there's a couple different things um, to know as far as setting up your camera right for shooting slow motion. And so the first thing thing that your question is, is does my camera have higher frame rates? And so we edit our videos in 30 frames per second. I know some people in the indie film kind of industry and some YouTubers, they definitely want to go 24 frames a second for that cinematic look. And so those are kind of the two typical. If you're international, you might be doing, um, you know, 25 frames a second or uh, whatever, you know, the PAL settings are. So then the next thing that you want to do once you've picked out your camera is in order to get smooth motion in general, you want to follow the 180 degree rule. And and it's simply this, whatever your frame rate is, you want your shutter speed to double that or to get as close as possible. So when we shoot in 30 frames a second, just normal speed, we shoot at 1 60th of a shutter speed. But when we shoot at 60 frames a second, we need that to actually be at 120, but our shutter speed actually, it's actually gonna be 1 25 because that's as close as we can get. And that's gonna give you that, that smooth motion. And so it, it continues to go up from there. If you're gonna shoot at 120 frames per second, you wanna be all the way up to around 200 and 
40. And one power tip here is as you actually take your shutter speed higher, what you'll notice is that the image a lot of times will get a lot darker. And so when you're shooting slow motion, consider ahead of time and plan for having more light. If you shoot outside in the sun, you're fine. There's plenty of light out there. But if you wanna shoot slow motion indoors, you're probably gonna need some sort of a light source so that you have enough light for the image to turn out awesome. Okay, so we're talking about actually how to get smooth slow motion. So you need to have those higher frame rates, make sure that your shutter speed is set right. And now let's just talk about a couple of different cameras that we've been testing out when it comes to slow motion. And what you can do is check out your camera to see if you have higher frame rates. And so one of the first ones that we've been testing is the Panasonic GH5. Now this one is a slow motion beast. And so we did some tests, it does 4K video at 60 frames a second, um, but it also has um, high frame rates at 1080p all the way up to 180 frames per second. So this is like 6X slow motion that we tested out with this um, running shot uh, recently with the American flag and all this other stuff. So you can actually see like how slow this is. But again, the reason it's so smooth is because it has enough frames there. You can always do slow motion by just slowing down any clip, but it'll be really jerky if you don't actually have the extra frame rate. So if you have a camera that can do that, it can look amazing just like this. Uh, another camera that is great for slow motion is the Sony A6500. And so this camera has 120 frames per second at 1080p. And so recently at just like a, a team party that we were having, we were kind of testing out slow motion footage, jumping in the pool, uh, testing it out with some sparklers. And again, we were thinking about our content, like you know, jumping in the pool and getting the splash or like the sparks coming off the sparklers. Always reverse engineer like as creative and as much motion content as possible so that it looks as cool as possible in slow motion. And another thing to note here is we talked about how like the GH5 has 4K at 60 frames a second. That's pretty rare. Like that's pretty amazing for that, you know, big of resolution. What most cameras will do as you get into your slow motion settings is a lot of times the image will get smaller and smaller. So your camera may only do slow motion at 720p. Some cameras do like crazy 240 frames a second, but it's only at like 480p. Like it's getting smaller and smaller image and it also can affect the quality of the image. So another camera that we were testing was the DJI Mavic drone. And um, the built into the drone is uh, 1080p at 96 frames a second. So about 3X slow motion, looks pretty good, but you can actually see the image quality drops. So yes, you are getting 1080p resolution, but like it's it's kind of grainy, kind of artifacty. It's it's not the best image possible. So as you're researching cameras, it, not all really frame rates are built the same, right? Like sometimes you're getting the slow motion, but at the sacrifice of the image quality because of what the camera is trying to, you know, it's it's including so much data with every frames that are crammed into one second that the image quality suffers a little bit. And then one of the most common cameras to probably find slow motion is, is action cameras. A lot of GoPros or other brands like the Yi action camera have a lot of good slow motion capabilities. And so um, whether that was shooting with the Yi 4K Plus recently, 4K at 60 frames per second, that gave us, you know, whether we were in Laguna Beach um, or just doing some kind of test footage outdoors, that gave us 50% slow motion at 4K resolution, but the uh, Yi 4K regular and the plus version will do 120 frames. And so on a snowboarding trip, we're able to shoot that full 4X slow motion. So you can see the footage in full speed, what it looks like, but then you can also slow it down and get that buttery smooth cinematic slow motion from a lot of affordable action cameras that are on the market today. Okay, so now let's jump into editing. We've picked out our creative content. We've picked out a camera that can shoot slow motion, hopefully at least 60 frames per second. We've shot our video. Now let's take it to editing and look at how we can slow it down. And actually a little tip that I like for going from fast to slow back to fast again. 
All right, let's uh, jump into a slow motion editing tutorial. Uh, quick and simple, and there's definitely more than one way to do this, um, but we're gonna look at uh, one of my favorite ways to do this. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new sequence and think about our base uh, resolution and frame rate. So we're gonna create a 1080p at 30 frames a second sequence. Um, by the way, I know it kind of is confusing, but it ends up being 29.97 frames per second. And that's important. Remember that number and the next thing we're gonna do is bring in some footage and what this footage is is some um, action camera footage from the Yi 4k action camera shot at 1080p 120 frames a second and what we can do here is um, go into the footage itself and you can see the frame rate it says it right there you go to modify interpret footage and then what we're going to do is say we're going to say we assume the frame rate is 29.97 this is the frame rate of our project and so now this slow motion footage i'll delete the audio here um, will be playing in smooth slow motion playback that's 4x slower right because if it's a 30 frames per second project we have 120 frames of data so it gives us this really cool slow motion cinematic effect and you can also see that it'll make the file itself much longer so if we bring in the original file again and just stack it up you can see the file itself is four times longer in our pr um, project window right Right down here. Now again, your editing software might look um, a lot different than this, and so you may or may not have these features, but if you wanna check out Premiere, um, you can always do a 30-day trial just to test it out, experiment with some of these things, and so um, I'll link that up in the description below. Okay, so let's look at one other example shot on the Panasonic GH5. And so this clip was uh, something that we did, kind of just this fun, kind of patriotic thing um, uh, for 4th of July. So you can see running here, and this is shot in the high frame rate mode on the GH5. And so let's interpret this really quick. And we're gonna assume the frame rate is 29.97. And then we're going to bring that into um, our editing software. And what you'll be able to see here is that this is some ultra slow, um, slow motion footage. And that camera is really a slow motion beast. And it looks great, great quality. This is at 1080p. Now one little editing tip here that I like for slow motion is how to go from fast to slow to fast. And um, what you just have to kind of do is just the math in your head. Now this is 6x slow motion. So if we were to um, cut say right here we could actually speed this up to 600 percent which is actually just going to mean it's normal so there it is it's normal i'm running and then boom it hits slow motion for a second this is really powerful if you want to edit to music for a moment and then maybe even kick it back to that um, full speed again so you could go fast, hit that slow motion, dramatic music, whatever you wanna do, and then the running will pick up again with the speed and it concludes the shot. Okay, so that is just one example of a slow motion workflow. There's certainly more than one way to do it. Different editing softwares treat it differently. And then there's even other processes like Premiere has something called optical flow, which if you actually don't have a high frame rate camera, you can slow down the footage by just making it slower. And it does, it works on filling in the frames a little bit, so it's not as jittery. And it's not quite as smooth, potentially, and as solid and dependable as that. But there are a lot of different things that you can do in slow motion. This is really just the tip of the iceberg. So I encourage you to continue kind of a journey of experimenting, always learning and testing out slow motion to see what kind of cool results and projects that you can create. Which also brings me to the question of the day and that is, what is your tips for slow motion? Uh, what cameras do you like to use? What software do you like to use? Uh, what have you learned as far as getting really cool slow motion results? Let me know in the comment section below and remember that some of the best tips and feedback come from you, the Think Media community. Community, so definitely connect with everybody in the comment section. So thanks so much for checking out this video. Definitely subscribe for more videos just like this. Hit the like button if you got value out of this video. And if you haven't downloaded the Think Media TV Video Gear Buyer's Guide, it's actually a free PDF that I put together of all my favorite lighting, cameras, tripods, and gear for every budget. So if you wanna grab that for free, we'll link it up in the YouTube description below as well as on the YouTube card. Until next time, Think Media is helping you with the best tips and tools for building your influence with online video. Keep crushing it, and 
we will talk soon.